Well, we're back in the Sugarlands today. I'm here with Creek Walker, and we've gone off trail, coming over from Rainbow Falls into the woods, and we've discovered our first home site of the day along the old, old road bed. I'll add the name to it later, because I, I forgot my maps. I'm hiking right my maps, but sometimes that's the best way to go. There goes Creek Walker out right there, Mike Poppin. He's heading over to see if we can find the spring house over next to the creek. Well, we're back in the woods some more, of course, and we just made our way down the creek and, and, uh, this area sort of reminds me of Cosby. It's a lot of open woods, but we finally came down to a spot. And here's chimney number two for the day, and there's Mike with a nice piece of a uh, frying pan that someone else had found laid there, and part of an old pot over here, and you can kind of see the rock foundation around the corner here supporting the house, and so it's a big room, probably a big old log cabinet one time. But anyway, we're in the backwoods of Sugarlands. Fun days. Well, we found the old road is running parallel with today's park road, and as we came down it, we found another path cutting back toward the creek, back toward the two home sites we found. It's a different road. It crosses the creek, and it's getting ready to cut across the ridge here to our right. Kind of a shortcut from where I wanted to go today. And this is a uh, you know, I've hiked in Sugarlands a lot. This is actually a, a path across a, an area that I've not hiked before, so it's going to be a fun adventure for all of us today. Now I'm up behind the uh, Sugarland Cemetery, which is back that way, and we're to our third remote chimney of the day. We've passed a lot of other home sites, but uh, as far as the chimneys that most people don't find very often. And uh, uh, Mr. Poppin has just found a horseshoe. And we've got a beautiful spring house over here. See it right there or not, sunlight shine. Check out that gorgeous spring house. Very big one right there. Well, we've come to our next big chimney up the 
after climbing up a side branch up behind the Sugarland Cemetery. And uh, this was a big house. This is a big chimney. Those rocks are stretched all the way down in front there, that little big old house facing down the beautiful valley at one time. Well, we've just bushwhacked up to the woods on a very old, old trail that, to be honest, I don't think anybody's been on it about 70 years or anything. We came up and found a spring house location. Then we found the two fallen chimneys of a very big house up on a, here's the corners of the front of the house. In the old days, a great view down the valley in the Sugarlands, and a big front yard here, and then a steep bank diving off of the front yard. But uh, this was uh, cut into the bank there, and it's a big, big house, and very unique to have two chimneys like this side by side of this house. CCC Dam is kind of deteriorating. The old plaque used to be in the copper plaque used to be right there before somebody stowed it. There used to be a holding pond of water there. Built up pressure and water went down that pipe. It's a CCC camp. <laughs> 